from CBS4. This is Haystack TV, powered by HaystackColorado.com. Finding reliable services can be like finding a needle in a haystack. With HaystackColorado.com, finding the needle just got a lot easier. Now, the host of Haystack TV, Chris Kane. Welcome to this Haystack TV Spotlight. Thanksgiving is behind us and we're now in the heart of the holiday party season. Unfortunately, this is the time of year when some people are under stress and end up making poor decisions resulting in criminal charges. These include domestic violence, theft, and drinking and driving. Fortunately, there is help at Jansen & Associates. They believe a good defense is one that engages you as an active team member. Like every lawyer and company on HaystackColorado.com, Jansen & Associates has been background checked. They are members of the Colorado and Denver Bar Association. They belong to the Colorado Criminal Defense Bar and the National College of DUI Defense Attorneys, and they have no complaints registered with the Better Business Bureau. Molly Jansen is the owner and partner of Jansen & Associates. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So today we're going to be talking um, about you know, what happens after the holiday season because it's a special time, but it's a stressful time. And Absolutely. you really see a lot of crime increase. That's correct. Generally speaking, between Thanksgiving and New Year's, we see a pretty big jump in criminal activity. Um, one, because it's the holidays and they are extremely stressful for most people. We're seeing in this economy a lot of people losing jobs, um, trying to provide for their families, maybe losing their homes, and finding themselves not making great decisions. So we find a pretty big jump in theft, drinking and driving, uh, drug-related charges, domestic violence, and those kinds of crimes. How do, can people avoid getting in these situations? Well, I'll tell you, that, that, that's difficult because obviously every person handles stress differently and everyone's situation is different. Um, but this is one of those times where if you are finding yourself to be in a pretty stressful situation, whether it be uh, the economy or whether it be your job or whatever else is going on, our, I think our first message out there is don't drink. Mm -hmm. Just don't even go there. Don't use drugs. That's that's an obvious one that we tell everyone all the time. Um, and and figure out what it is that you need to do to take a step back and cool down and walk away. Because quite frankly, domestic violence is a big one right now, and that that's a tough one for everyone um, involved. Uh, the victims, the families, um, and the defendants. And so we really encourage people that if you're going to spend money on alcohol, take that money and go talk to someone. Figure out what tools you need, what resources are available so that you can make better decisions in really heated situations so that you don't find yourself in the criminal system with a family member who's a victim. And what people don't know is that when you're charged with domestic violence, you get a restraining order, which means you can't go home. You can't see your kids most likely, and you're in a situation where you may have to move out and, and do something else. And that's a, that's a tough time, especially during the holidays. And if someone you know, does make a bad decision and drinks and gets involved in a domestic dispute, what should they do? What's the next step? Well, the next step, obviously, is to get an attorney. And um, I think the, the number one thing you need to focus on is getting an attorney and figuring out what your rights are and what your options are, which is why we encourage people to talk to attorneys like my law firm, other law firms that do criminal defense, um, that know how the process works so that you don't get lost in the system and maybe be in a situation where you can't go home for the holidays because of a temporary protection order or um, you're facing a DUI or, or those kinds of things. There are lots of intricacies in the law that people do not understand, do not know about, and they need to be educated. So start the process, get an attorney. And you offer a free initial consultation too, so people That's shouldn't correct. feel intimidated. They should call you and just ask the questions and, and, and find out what the answers are. That's right. Call me, have a very free conversation confidentially where you can you know, express what's going on and get some real answers. And there's no time limit. We're going to meet with you in person or talk with you on the phone, whichever is most convenient, and get you through that process to the next step, whether it's hiring my law firm, hiring another law firm, or getting a public defender, or whatever mm -hmm. that next step may be. Great. Well, thank you so much for the great information. Absolutely. And hopefully people don't find themselves in that situation, but if they do, I'm going to give them your information so they can get a hold of thank you. Thank you. Jansen & Associates wants to ensure that you are represented fairly and informed about the charges against you before you make a bad decision. They are a criminal defense law firm handling everything from traffic offenses to DUI to major felonies. Call them at 303-832-5400 or visit their website at jansenlegal.com. They offer free consultations. The number again is 303-832-5400. Jansen & Associates paid for this segment.